thousand subscribers. Wow. We're gonna talk about that tomorrow though. Today we're gonna focus on maybe the best quick tip that there's been, at least for Adobe Premiere Pro and color grading. If you're trying to color grade in Adobe Premiere Pro, I've, I've got maybe the best tip ever today. Which by the way is brought to you by Epidemic Sound. If you are looking for the very best music for your YouTube videos, look no further than Epidemic Sound. They have a massive library of super dope music and you can try it for free. First link in the description, free trial. Just go in there, download a bunch of music, check it out, totally free. Okay, on to today's quick tip, and again, you're, you're really gonna like this one. Because one of the hardest things to do when color grading within Premiere Pro is color grade a bunch of clips and have them all look the same. Usually you'll color grade the first clip, it'll look great. You'll do the second clip, great. Third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh. By the time you're, you're down the road a little bit, the seventh clip and the first clip don't look anything like each other. So while you're playing back the video, the color grade is, it's jumping all over the place. And we're gonna fix that today. Okay, let's dive into Premiere Pro. I'm gonna show you, it's, it's super simple. All right, here we are in Premiere Pro and I've got these clips of Morgan and Eleanor playing out of the park looking Looking so stinking adorable. Look at that kid. What a cute kid, huh? And these are all ungraded over here. And then I have one that I did a color grade on. Check, check this one out. Let's go into our color panel. And you can see this is the color grade that I put on there. Just did some, some basic stuff up here. Tweaked the, the tint a little bit. Did some exposure stuff, some shadows, whites. Very simple. Added some saturation and added a, a really mild curve. I barely touched the curve. But I have I have the color grade done for this and I think it looks great. I want all the other clips to look like this clip. So the first thing I'm gonna do is go to my Lumetri color in the effects tab and I'm just gonna right click and hit copy. And then I can go down here and I can zoom out on all this and I'm just gonna select all of these and then hit command V to paste them. Oop, now this one's got it twice. Let's delete one of those, boom. So now all of these just received the same, the same adjustments that I did. But those same adjustments aren't gonna work on every clip or they're gonna be a little off. Even though this was all filmed the same, you can see that towards the beginning here, this first clip, it's, it's way too bright. And then I go to this one, this one that's better. And this one's a little off as well. So they're all a little off, just, just by a tiny bit. But if I'm, if I'm just trying to edit this clip right here, I'm trying to make it look like this clip. I'm gonna constantly be making tweaks and, and say, I think I need to bring the shadows up a touch. And, and then I'm gonna go back to this one and say, do these, do these look alike? Do they look like they could play in the same video together? And here's where the quick tip comes in. This clip here, we're gonna go down to color wheels and match over here on our Lumetri color panel. Open that up and there's this thing called comparison view and it's it's amazing. It's kind of hidden though. I don't know why they hid it down here. Boom, look at this. I have two clips next to each other. Basically on the left hand side here, I have my entire sequence. So I can grab this, I can move it to any clip that I want to compare it against. So let's go to that clip. Boom, here's the clip I know I want it to look like. On the right here is the clip that I'm working on. So if I went down here and I move to another clip, this clip on the left here stays the same because that's my source clip. Basically, that's the one that I've said, I want everything else to look like that. And now that it's right next to it, I can I can make sure that they're exactly the same. See, it looks like, looks like I kind of make, want to warm this clip up just a touch, maybe think, maybe touch a little bit of saturation on there. Just get it perfect. I can go back over here does look pretty close, but I think the tint is a little too strong on this one. Bring it down just a bit. And then there's also a couple different ways you can look at it. So right now I'm looking at it side by side, but if I go down here, I can actually see a vertical split and it splits the frame right down the middle and I can grab this and I can kind of kind of do this little jazz bit here and, and get it just where I want it. And I can do a horizontal split and I can uh, do the same thing where I can move it like this and just see if those colors are looking the exact same. I personally like the side-by-side -side because then I can see the full frame, I can see all the colors in the image, in the frame, and make sure that these two frames could, could be seamlessly in a video together. It's not gonna go from the first one to the second one and then make a big brightness jump or a big color shift. It, it looks like they could totally be in the same video. And we do that, again, just by going to color wheels and uh, turning on that comparison view. Boom! Quick tip Tuesday, that's it. It's it's that simple. A lot of things in Premiere Pro are like that. They're just these 
these little tiny things that once you learn them, you go, how, how did I not know that was a thing before? I hope that helps you guys out. If it does, hit that like button for me. Maybe consider sharing this with a friend. Comment below, let me know if this actually helped you out or if you knew this tip already. And hit subscribe and join the now 100,000 other people that have hit the subscribe button. That's crazy. That's amazing. We're gonna talk about that more in the next video, probably tomorrow. And I'm also gonna announce a giveaway uh, for you guys. So definitely subscribe and, and follow along. Okay, giveaway, giveaway soon. Subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow.